Okay, next project. I got one of these fellas. It's awesome, an MP3 player for the boat. It's waterproof. Come to the microphone if you want to play karaoke, idiot. What's the problem then? Well, that right there. Piece of crap lead acid battery is in the back. Yeah, it wore out in like a second, instantaneously. So you take the back cover off. There's a bunch of screws. There's the plugs. I already tested it. Well, actually, maybe I'll set it up and show you. No, I'm not gonna do that. I did it already. Hooked alligator clips to here. This tiny little LiPo battery here from like <laughs> 2004, 11.1 .1 volt. Ran a thing perfect. Cranked it all the way up to high volume was fine. This little fellow wouldn't last very long, but go to Batteries Plus. Ask me if you can have their power tool, dead batteries that people turn in. You rip them apart, you remove the individual lipo cells. All right? Uh huh? Uh huh? Get on eBay, get a cheap lipo charger, like one of these fellas in here. They're cheap nowadays. Anyhow, I'm gonna wire these into here with a lead to each individual cell. So then you can use a smart charger well, like these I just showed you. I gotta make a weatherproof plug. That's the only tricky, tricky bit. But that's it. Then this thing, which is an awesome speaker. This is a Rolling Rocker 4. It's plenty loud. It's got Bluetooth. It's got USB chargers to charge your phone and stuff. It's just, it's, it's, it's worked very well. But the battery sucks. We're gonna fix that by upgrading to a LiPo. All right, so here's the plan. This is that back cover. Whoop, put these somewhere. Whoop. Okay. Here's the deal. This thing comes with a bottle opener on the back. That's cute. I'm never gonna open a friggin' bottle with my Bluetooth speaker. So, however, you can see where it lands on the case over here. I'm thinking that's a perfect place to put a plug. Well, guess what? Uh, what am I trying to say? 11.1 .1 volts on a lithium battery means three cell. 3.7 volts times three gets you up there, 11.1 .1 volts. So you need at least four conductors imagine that one here 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 in order to charge so you can balance the cells For those of you that don't know lipo stuff just you know when you plug your you put AAA batteries uh in your remote control you use two of them because usually that means they add together right so you get three volts one and a half volts plus one and a half volts in series is three volts that's fine rechargeable batteries for lipos well if you stack three of them together you get 11.1 .1 volts that's great when you go to charge it you can't charge it at slightly higher than 11.1 .1 volts because one of those cells might charge at a higher rate than the other one and get hot and you know blow up or something ridiculous that you don't want to have happen that's why you got to have one of these fancy lithium ion chargers if you don't know that they're cheap, but uh, anywho, getting to the point, I found in my stash this plug from something in the past. It has more conductors than I need, but it's got the four. And it's a weatherproof cap. So you drill a hole, you mount it, it's flush mount, and you tighten this nut around it. I can't do it with one hand, but you get the idea. So that somehow in this area, I'm gonna install this plug over here. Huh? Somehow, I don't know how. So that it's gonna mount somewhere in that region and have this little waterproof cap on the back. So the whole thing stays waterproof, but the lithium battery will be where the lead acid battery used to live and you'll be able to charge it. I'll make an adapter out of this bingus. There's the other end of the waterproof plug. I don't know, I don't know what electronics this came off of, but I always hoard stuff like this. And then it goes to this style plug 
which doesn't matter, except since this one was already cut, I don't know why, I am going to wire this to a plug that plugs into the battery charger. So then everything's idiot proof. The plugs only go together one way. You plug it in, you tell it charge, your lithium battery's charged. Now, I do gotta figure out too, which is gonna be tricky on these unmarked batteries. Some of them are marked, but let's see how. I have to look up the specs on the individual batteries and see uh, how many milliamp hours they are. Because even though this thing says, wherever it went, this thing says nine amp hour, that thing never freaking worked anything like nine amp hour. It didn't do its job. But if you had a LiPo with 9,000 milliamp hour, which is the same as nine amp hour, it'll last an eternity, I think. So my plan is to find out. I'm gonna try to stack enough of those together Three cells makes 11.1 volts, but I'm gonna have different banks of 11.1 volts. So there's one set, two set, three set. I'm gonna see, well, actually I'm not gonna see. Three of these will fit together in the case where the old battery went like this. Nine of them will not. I can't use all four connected together, so I'll have to connect on to the spring of a thing here and pull a voltage off of that. So you got negative that starts at this end here. Boop, 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 boop. Gets you to 11.1 .1 volt right here. So I'm not gonna put a battery in here. I'll cut that little wire, but then there's one extra space. So really, if I wire it up correctly and pay attention, I can have four banks. These three, these three, these three, and then the leftover three for a fourth bank and all the wires should come out um, and go to four individual conductors. Let you go to that plug so I can use a smart charger. It's kind of it's kind of tricky because you're going to have three banks and you're going to try to use the smart charger to charge each bank. So you don't have an individual wire going to each individual 18650 cell, but ah, it'll work out. You'll see. At least I think it will, or it'll catch on fire. Either way, you can't break it more than broke. And this is annoying, because you charge it up, and this stupid thing would last like an hour, not even being cranked up or anything. So clearly the battery was junk. It's only been, I don't know, 10 charge cycles maybe in its life since I've owned this stupid thing. The thing works great electronically otherwise. So if, if it's LiPo, it's gonna be, I think, magic and perfect on the boat. I'll have to disable these because I don't wanna forget and then plug into that. And what's supposed to be designed for the onboard charger for charging a lead acid battery, trying to charge the LiPos, that's no bueno. So I'm gonna have to take this part somehow or do whatever I need to do to disable this. I'm actually thinking about just cutting the end off one of my scrap cords remove all the conductors and shove it in here. So it's physically impossible to put a wire in there. I think it's a simple solution. I'm never gonna try to run 120 volts off it, but I guess that would still function off the LiPo battery, it should. I don't know why you'd want to, but anywho, that's the plan, we'll see.
Come on. Be easy. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right. Yeah. I hope this works because it's never coming out of here. Probably. Whoop. Meh. Close. I still got a the little rubber binkus sticks in there a little further so I gotta trim it a little shorter. That should keep anybody from poking a wire in there. There it is. Nailed it. I don't care how hard you push you can't shove a cord in there. We're safe. Moron proof. Jam that sucker on like that. This little fella's gonna fit on like that. Then I'm going to trim uh, this side. Trim the plastic right here of this piece to allow the wires to fit out. And then that goes like that. You get the idea. Everything's all happy and waterproof. And there's your plug. Boop. Come here. Check the party you have a question about and ask the appropriate parent, you creep. Ah, come on. Because I said this just happened to your daughter's There it is. It's going to look like this. All those wires are going to go in there. Plus, I'm thinking this little fella. You go under here and see that little half moon piece? I'm gonna drill a hole in there and that's where the wires will sneak into there. Okay, testing. So, ugly as this is, you got Mr. Plug over there. It's done. It wouldn't you know, this cord came from a proprietary business situation. So, <laughs> All the conductors on this were not hooked up. Murphy's Law, of course I picked one that wasn't used. Now it is. So anyhow, um, charging it's one thing, powering the device is another. So these are three series banks. And then the banks are in parallel. So these three batteries are in series. That makes your 11.1 volts, 11.1 volts, 11.1 volts. These individual pieces are then run in parallel, so you get three times the capacity. It's still 11.1 volts. So that's the plan. All these other wires are so that you can have a balanced charge situation out here if I didn't explain that. And um, anyhow, we'll see how that works out here directly for charging but for everything else this should work what I'm going to do is put the batteries in one bank and make sure the unit powers on and functions and then test the second bank and then the third bank because they can run independently we'll see if that powers the device I don't know if I can get this um, in a spot where you can see everything but we're going to try it out anyway see what happens. Alright. Alright. That should have power to the system. I guess we'll know over here. Yep. I powered it on. It indicates full charge. There we go. Power. Connected. Says it's connected. Let me find some crappy music to play. How about some cake?
turn the system off. I should have, but I didn't. Put these batteries in an easier spot to get them out. I mean, put a string in there. Because uh, I knew this was going to happen. Okay. I'll put a string in the other two. All right. Next bank. Oh shit. Tried to smash the spring. I think that's in there. If not. It's, I didn't get the connection too good when I plugged it in. All right. I think that's in there. Yep. Got juice. Bluetooth. I think everything's kosher. Connected. Good to go. Bluetooth. Turning. Connected. works I mean good to go I just got to physically get all this stuff stuffed into where the old battery went and screwed together and I think it'll work but before I do that I'm gonna put all the batteries in verify my cord charging cord wiring situations done and then make sure I can test that smart charger before I screw everything together okay I'll try to show you the goods so everything's hooked up now that I changed around the plug so that all the wires are in the right places orange is negative so this is how I'll have to wire it to the battery charger anyway there's bank one which is 3.7 volts brown isn't used black is 7.6 yellow is your 11 point whatever so that's it and it shows there's three banks which would be a four wire system for wiring up that smart charger i'll get that going next just wanted to show the goods there's the soldered up connector old school right <laughs> holy but goody pc power supply Whole nother project. Millions of people have done that. I'm not going to do a video. Old PC power supply is capable of putting out 36 amps at 12 volts. Very clean signal. Build one of these if you have an old power supply. Anyway, that powers the Triton 2, which runs through the cell balancer, which goes all through the wires to the different cells I already told you about. It works. I got it at a pretty low rate. I told it to charge it one amp. But it is in fact charging, so I'm convinced that this system will work. 
I can close the whole thing up and use the waterproof plug when I need to charge the internal LiPo battery. Let me get it all buttoned up and take a picture of it. So there's the finished product. New LiPo battery. Now, other facts of the case. These fellas over here, if you get the real actual, I don't know if this one particularly is, but I thought I vetted those ones that were in there. And meh. Uh, if they are the Japanese good ones, Sanyo, uh, etc., not uh, knockoffs. If they're the real 18650s and they came out of laptops or power tools, they should have a capacity of about, uh, so sayeth Google, 1800 milliamp hours to about 2500. So let's say on the low end, let's say 1500 milliamp hour per battery. That's 1.5 amp hour per battery. There's nine batteries that make up this bank, right? So you're well over the capacity that this dumb thing was in the first place, nine amp hour. So maybe this thing will now actually operate, um, you know, for the 100 hours it claims it should. Anyway, there's the waterproof plug, what it looks like like that and it's keyed so the uh, cord can only go in there one way and then it's a twist lock so it won't pull out and I've lost it now oh yeah here's the pigtail that plugs in there and that goes to there which goes to here also keyed can only go in one way and that goes over to my lipo charger so should be a pretty simple operation and uh, works good Final note, it's been playing, well, I don't know, an hour or something. I just wanted to point out this battery gauge says it's two thirds of the way and it should because lithium cells don't drop off voltage wise as they drain nearly as much as um, lead acid batteries. So three cell lipos are 11.1 .1 volt. Well, that's obviously less than 12 volts. So this indicator will not necessarily tell you the truth because it's looking at looking for 12 volt lead acid cell instead of the lithium ion. So I suspect, and it is true, I just thought I'd show you charging time. Hup, powered off. Bloop, bloop.
that's how you do it that thing will shut off when she's done that's it